Welcome or welcome back to Barrio Tales. Today's video will be about something recent that happened this past Monday. L.A. County Sheriff Deputy Samuel Aspuro was on a police motorcycle waiting at a traffic light at the intersection of North Barranca Avenue and East Gary Avenue South in West Covina. A gunman ambushed Deputy Aspuro and shot him from behind. The bulletproof vest Deputy Aspuro was wearing prevented the bullet from penetrating his body. A manhunt was underway for the accused gunman. Now, investigators didn't release how or what led them to identify the accused gunman, but the gunman was later identified as 47-year-old Raimundo Duran. Officers from the Border Division of California Highway Patrol arrested Duran on suspicion of drunk driving and weapons possession charge after finding a gun in Duran's 2008 Silver Camry sedan. He was booked into the San Diego County Sheriff's Jail, where LASD homicide detectives interviewed Duran. Based on statements from Duran, surveillance footage from the West Covino shooting scene, and witness statements and the recovered firearm, Duran was linked to the crime. Raimundo's background consists of having affiliation with West Covina 13 gang. He's known as Ray Ray. In 2001, Duran was charged with murder and pleaded guilty the following year to voluntary manslaughter, receiving 11 years in prison. In July 2021, Duran, a parolee at the time, evaded a police officer after being involved in a hit and run. The televised chase ended when Covina police were able to stop his car using a pit maneuver. While on probation, he was arrested again and charged with possession of a firearm by a narcotics addict and possession of ammunition. In April 2022, he pleaded guilty and received 16 months in state prison for that offense, plus an additional 16 months for the 2021 evading incident. A judge ordered those sentences to be served concurrently. By July 1, 2023, he was out of prison and arrested again for driving under the influence. That case was dismissed last month. Right now, Duran is currently booked in the San Diego County Jail with the $1 million bail. If convicted, Duran faces life in prison.